Deputy, let's go ahead and start a meeting. Uh, roll call, please. Here. 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 Uh, if you want to participate in the prayer and pledge of allegiance, please stand. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather here to work towards a common goal, we ask your presence to guide and direct our decisions. We know your will is good for all members of our community. We also pray for our police and firefighters and city workers for their safety and the work they do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there any additions or uh, relations to the agenda? I so move we approve the agenda. I second it. Okay, it's been moved and second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. No. Aye. aye. There's no awards or proclamations. Uh, recognition of visitors will be the South Central Board of Trustee Chairman. Dan. Dan. <laughs> wow. Nobody knows him. <laughs> Dan Kovitz, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the South Central Kansas Medical Center. As you know, and it's exciting to be here talking to you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mayor and Commission, for letting us present. And I just want to remind you, and you all know because, well, four of you were intimately involved in this, but a year ago our hospital was on the brink. We had just had an MTAL violation that could have shut us down. We were facing, uh, and still are, but we're working through it, different things that had to do with a questionable lab outreach. And a year ago, about a year ago, and commit to being our CEO and since then we turn things around at least now we're not hemorrhaging millions of dollars a year and so I want to want you to applaud yourselves for taking that bold move and doing that and, and uh, it was a good thing and, and so that's why I'm here though to talk about what where we're headed with it and you know at the time we uh, as a city commission just basically became the board of trustees but when we look toward the future and we had talked about having a board that had terms of five-year you know, five terms, five members, with one coming off each year. And I'm just really here just to remind you, and, and I know you're the, you could make the ordinance how you want it in your home rule, but to bring the continuity, you know, where we've come over a year, and you know, we have a CEO and things in place, but to bring some continuity so we all know how the board is going to be and not someday a whole new board come on and it's all different, uh, you know, it, and uh, could we somehow formalize that structure now that we have five members that do five-year terms and one one per year come off. We do have two other citizens that would be interested in being on the board <coughs> at this point if, if that would be acceptable to you guys. I mean, obviously, it would, you know, there may be one now and, and we set up our terms so they do begin to stagger at this point would be a good thing and that and we know um, in our the hospital attorneys have sent some information to city attorney that maybe what the ordinance or the statutes that were chartered out of maybe there's more work that needs to be done there to make sure that the board is truly uh, duly serving properly under uh, under state law and I know you know when when we did the oh, hey, actually talked about doing that but we still haven't it hasn't come about yet and so really that's all I'm here to bring up again and mention and say you know maybe make sure you guys talk about it and if you would make it you know make an ordinance that would get that set up so that you know, we as a hospital board and I'm the only one on there now that isn't on, on this board but if we as a hospital board we know where the future's headed mm -hmm. and, and where we're looking at and uh I don't see it from the board and from the CEO standpoint, you know, the structure with five, with one coming off every year would work well. We think that'd be good. And um, and that's really all I have to say. Any, anything so, you guys wanna? So Dan, what you're looking at is uh, uh, counting yourself since you're not on the commission anymore. 
So you're looking at two more board members outside and then two commissioner board members that be your five member boards is what that you're looking at or? Well, I think that, you know, personally as a, as a chairman, I'd say we eventually get to where city commission is separate again from the, the okay. hospital board. Maybe for now, one other person that's just not on the commission, maybe the year after two, maybe two others now, that'd be, you know, that's, you guys can, can decide that. I mean, we're, we're not, Jeff and I didn't come here to tell you guys what, <laughs> how, to, how to handle it, and, and I'm glad to serve, you know, the, the four of you that are still on the hospital board, I think we're doing a good job and we're serving well. It's really more, we need to think forward what's, what's the future gonna be? And, and so that'd be, you know, maybe this would be the time to start. We feel like there's a little bit of enough stability that we could, get something more formalized that says how our board is going to be. Well, Dick, how do you think we ought to do this? Have the two attorneys draft up something? I mean, what are you thinking? We, we've made a go of it, I think, before. Um, I think Andrew and I can probably put something together um, and then have the attorneys review it. Um, but if the commission wants two new members to come on there at the beginning of the year, is that what you're proposing or do you just want one new Mick, board I, of trustees? I'm the newest commissioner and the least experienced. The commissioner that I replaced had a lot more experience with hospitals than I did. So <laughs> uh, saying that, I as a citizen very much would like to see the hospital be completely separate from the city. But I believe Jay's idea is correct. Uh, let's phase it in. I would be in favor of minimum of one commissioner, maximum of two being on the board for the next two years. And then maybe they drop off as their terms do and that person be replaced by a street person or something. I, I, I my push that's would basically be- basically what, uh, what I think they're saying mm -hmm. is two commissioners come off, two, com, com, two city commissioners that are currently sitting also on the board of trustees would come off. Two of the commissioners <coughs> would serve on both for two, Two years, maybe one for one year and the other one for two years. Yes, something like that. That would. And then, would, so within two years, mm -hmm. the entire board will not be city commission. That's that's what I'm trying to say. In okay. a, in if a way that's that, what the commission wants us to draft up, we can definitely get that draft. Well, up I'm asking the the chairman of the board. That, well, is that I mean, is that satisfactory? So you all know we've had a big learning curve. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so yeah. I don't want to see everybody right away. One now, maybe two as well as two other commissioners change. Uh, and so maybe even take a little bit slower than, than you imagine. No, I'm saying two this year. Two this year. Two this coming year, mm -hmm. stay on the, with, then, yeah. with a total of three lay people. One of them come off the next year and one of them the next. That would, that that would give you close to your five year mm -hmm. yeah, have, longevity. Yeah, we have a rolling schedule. Yeah. The, then the people that you'd, you'd bring in to replace would be serving three-year terms. Would that be correct? So no, that they'd, they'd, five, they'd, five, they'd, five, five, they'd serve a five, five. Serve, okay. If they're replacing two, one's gonna have a four-year term, yeah. and one will have a five-year term. The first time around, and then everybody yes. goes five years. That, we'll to, we, when we but it this. also depends on, on Mr. Yakovich, whether he's gonna be the five-year term, or is he gonna be the three-year term? I'm at the, the mercy of the city commission. <laughs> I move he's the five-year term because yeah, I'm going to get even with him. It'll have to be a three, four, five. Well, I say, I say, but and it might be just, just three years. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As you redo it and redo the ordinance, you could reappoint that. You know, one would be a one, there's obviously somebody's going to be a one-year, two-year, three-year, four-year, five-year. There's going to be five people that you have. To but you count. said you have two more people, lay so two people. Two people that would be, would be willing to serve. Yeah. And are there two people here that are willing to serve for? Two more years. I'm asking our committee. Yeah. One would serve for two, and one would serve for one more year. Yeah. And that's where I don't. I don't. Know, I mean, I think we do. We'll, I think, we'll draft I think it from, up. Yeah. From, from talking to the, bring it back. from what I know of the board, I think all of you would be willing to serve forever. Almost. <laughs> no. 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 Don't speak for me. Not ever. Not forever, I'm a short termer. I mean, it's been a labor of we we worked hard at it, and we. we well, we, we still we, we still got some small hurdles to get through, yeah. and that's the reason why we want to kind of. You know, we want to we want to get away from the city commission. You know, because I don't think I think Jim's right that you know we shouldn't have five members on the city commission on the hospital board. We need to get outside people. But it's we also, got. You know, 
the new commissioners coming on and, and as you do that, it, that, that automatically sets the process. But also, if it stays mm -hmm. that way and you, when you know you're running, you're running to be on the hospital board and the city commission, that's a good way to burn people out who, that are not making their living. So who would you suggest this first time picks those three lay people this commission or do, do we want to put that out right now do you want to go over it with the trustees i think that's i didn't come today prepared to say who we're, who we're, we're not no no i didn't i didn't want you to say who you're talking about but who do you see picking those three people I think we'll figure that's the, the four the commissioners yeah, the, the board okay. has it's been at, that way yeah the board the serves at the uh, okay at the but or the, serves based on the or at least they'd have the final say. The they'd have the final say. You well, suggest. They, they could do, it could be like, just like you've done in the past. They could suggest mm -hmm. some people yeah. and then bring it okay. to the board, and then yeah. we either approve or don't approve, you know, type and, of thing. And it's still the, those people that said they'd be willing. They still turn in an application just like you would for any yeah. other mm -hmm. city board, and then the city commission chooses those. And, and, and it, it, if it's one or two, it, it probably won't chase the CEO away. And you got any, any input to this? No, I think that uh, typically the hospital presented who they were asking for and yeah. okay. they proved it. No, I didn't like it before okay. when I was on the, when I was the mayor. The, the, the way the ordinance was drafted made it seem like the hospital board had more of the final say. And it was more like the city commission just turned it down, yes or no. You know, I mean, I think especially since the city Speaking as a citizen, not just the board of trustees, but the, the citizens of our city are on the hook for some large amounts of money, and so the that is the check and balance is that the city commission mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. gets to appoint that board, and, and you think that the voted the voted members of the city commission would have the best interest of the citizens at heart, which is also the you know, making sure that our hospital works out and getting our burden on the taxpayers. Would we want to leave just questions? Would we want to leave the possibility of adding a third commissioner to the board if we saw problems coming up? I don't think we'd want to do that no. at this okay. point. I'm just yeah. asking. I, I, I think that ultimately we need to get back to where we're completely separate. Um, I do too. I agree with that. Separate individuals. But I do understand 100% the growing and, and all the changes that are occurring. It's great to have some stability. And I know that Jeff absolutely appreciates having having those folks that understand the difficulties and the problems of where they've been and where they've come and where they want to go and, and being able to pass that knowledge on to those next new individuals. It's, stability is definitely a great, great asset to have in a board. Especially in the hospital, it's the trouble. Yeah. yeah, we're yeah, just getting to the- I feel like we're still just scratching the surface. We are, and, and it takes a long time. In five years, well, you said we've been on it for two years. About. About two years. Yeah, we've gone through so much in two years. Right. You know. I mean, hopefully and the next board, the next board won't have to go through here. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, hopefully. We hope that doesn't happen again. There's been a lot, been a lot of prayers at nights on this deal. Yeah, it's been, <coughs> it's been a tough situation. But yeah. yeah. So anyway, that's all I want to thank for your time. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll have this prepared, ready to go, first of the year, the meeting, the first meeting or second meeting in January then? Or? Yeah, they'll be ready to go for the. Probably have a draft you before the first meeting in January. Okay, time. All right. And then we'll, we'll have plenty of time for the hospital board to look at it and, and yeah. approve that. Okay. Okay. All Thank right. Thank you. Uh, Mayor. Hey, Jay. Yes. If we could have the uh, um, Cub Scouts there. Sure. Themselves, that'd be great. Sure. Boy Scouts. Scouts. Boy Scouts. Scouts. Boy Scouts. 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 Boy Scouts. 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 Well, I want you guys to talk it up so we can hear you. Up front so, so the cameras can see you. Oh, yeah, that so we can hear you. This is for Badger's Farm. This one? For a badger. Oh. I, didn't, I, I saw him come in. I didn't know. You know there's, what, there's a microphone there. If you can right see. here. Give us your no. name and tell us why you're here. Oh, right here. There's a microphone. Just right look here. at me right and then this. the microphone right here. Just talk yeah. to it. Pull it down towards yeah. your face. There you go. There you go.
Seven. And your last name? Hancock. Okay. 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 My name is Erin Horton, and I actually know somebody at the Central Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Merit Badge in Government? Um, he is a leader center at the community. Yep. So, 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 so you get to get up there to the microphone. Take a picture of you guys right here. <laughs> get used to it, Scotty. One more. Here we go. So one of the things, so one of the things that scouts do is um, they have citizenship in the community, citizenship in the country or nation, citizenship in the world, and so they're required to do acts of citizenship and to attend uh, programs like uh, commission meetings and government. Thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> comments from the audience that's not on the agenda I don't think we've got anybody signed up do we okay uh, consent agenda the consent agenda is just is this approval of the minutes of November 19 2019 regular meeting minutes and the November 22nd 2019 special uh, uh, meet, or meeting minutes as written I make one change of I make a motion that we approve the uh, minutes for the regular meeting and for the special meeting in November uh, with the said changes mentioned by city manager. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second. Any other discussion on it? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, new business. There's no old business, new business. time of year that we are looking at the cost of living adjustment for all employees and um, this is a budgeted item and uh, I have your uh, funds here with the cost and then I also have a pay ordinance itself with the new rates with the 1% cost of living adjustment. What are those numbers? The for the how much it's going to cost mm -hmm. total. It's around seventy six thousand total for the one percent cola. Okay. Do you need a motion on that? I what? so move that we approve the uh, ordinance adopting the budget play plan play, pay plan for twenty twenty run one percent cola. I'll second that motion, and I, I, I'd like to say that our employees are hard workers. I wish we could give more to them, but, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, but uh, they, they do a wonderful job, and they, they just, they're out there when it's 20 below zero or 105 degrees, you know, and stuff, working and stuff, and I just really appreciate what they do. Uh, they're just hard workers, Thank and you. I'm glad they're at least getting something. We all do. Thank you very much. I know they appreciate it. Uh, is there any discussion on that? If not, it's a roll call vote. Commissioner Eastman? Yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Seibert? Yes. Commissioner Welch? Yes. Mayor Warren? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, number two. Lot usually handles this item. Um, Will and I put together a bid, but I 
do have uh, Brandon Zorty here with Waste Artifacts Division. I can answer any technical questions on the equipment itself. Uh, but we did uh, send out uh, for two separate options, a two-wheel standard loader with a backhoe and a two-wheel <coughs> loader with the what they call an extendo hose, which is an extended backhoe. Uh, the bids came back, and the low bid is with the Murphy tractor of John Deere. John Deere 310L, and the cost to the city after our trade-in would be $72,130. Uh, this is a budgeted item, um, and it will be uh, paid for uh, through the sewer fund. What kind of uh, warranty did we get on this? Did I miss it in... Some of those warranties, or most of those warranties, are actually purchased. Also, I don't know if he wanted that option. Uh, ten year on backhoe is pretty excessive. I didn't see it anywhere. Just wondering. At least four or five years. Four or five. Yeah, you get to be a five year minimum anyway. Okay. Yeah, it's been used a, a yeah. lot over the years. It's very used piece of equipment. Sure. Listen here, it'll be a little safer because it digs out a little bit farther out. I think it's got a little bit bigger reach, and it's a little safer than the one we've had before. But you went for a two-wheel drive. That's surprising. How much difference was there in cost in a two and a four? Well, we really don't need a four-wheel drive because all the work on the street and the alleys. Yeah, I so can see that would. Have a, where we have to drive in the mud or. I just was curious. I wasn't being critical. Well, I make a motion that we uh, purchase the front end loader backhoe with extension reach from Murphy's Tractor and Equipment Company, Park City, for an amount not to exceed seventy-two thousand one hundred thirty dollars. But I also want to include that we make sure we got uh, warranty on that thing. I mean, we'll check that. Yeah, all bids have the warranty with it. I, I can only tell you that. Yeah, okay. I didn't see it on well, the most, <laughs> most of the new tractors, what you're going to run into in trying to give Jay what he wants, the tractor's going to come with a two or three year warranty, yeah. but then you purchase up to 10 year warranties. Uh, at what, what I'll have them do is approve the contract. If there is an extended warranty, we bring it back. Okay. To that, the next meeting. That'll work. Free to review. Yeah, that's fair now. Okay. I uh, see. I made a motion. Karen second it. Any other discussion on it? If not, it's a voice vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number three. Consider a resolution approving the notice of budget hearing for publication and setting the date for a public hearing at 5.30 p.m. on December 17, 2019 to amend the 2019 budget to the city of Oklahoma City. Uh, so what the commission is doing with this action item is you're actually setting the date for a public hearing, um, but we publish it in the newspaper
Okay. I will move that we approve the notice of budget hearing for publication and setting the date for public hearing at 5.30 p.m. on December 17, 2019 to amend the 2019 budget for the city of Arkansas City. I second. Okay, it's been moved and second. Any discussion on it? If not, it's a voice vote. Voice vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, I guess Sarah, see the manager, manager updates. Tony well, has one item he wants to go over with you. I okay. actually have a packet here. Okay. Um, the van or bus, it's actually a bus that they've been using to haul inmates. Um, who had gas for dinner? No. Or just about did. Yeah. So what happened to I it? I had him this we afternoon to give you some information. Okay. To at least get the <laughs> the current transport for the inmates is a 2006 Ford Ecoliner, and uh, we basically use it to haul inmates back and forth to work detail. But two weeks ago on Friday, Mr. Robinson was driving them back and just lost power. So my first reaction was pull the good stick and let's check the antifreeze. Both were full. Uh, we towed it into Reedy Ford. And I had the mechanics out there go through it, and he's seeing a little bit of water in the oil as well as some shaving. For most of you that know anything about engines know that's a sign of a failed motor. So we got an estimate for 10 grand on a bus we bought for 5,000. <laughs> and it's not worth it. It's not mm -hmm. worth putting 10 grand in it to fix it. Uh, that's not even including fixing the heating and air for the inmates as well and the driver uh, that hasn't worked the heat hasn't worked as far as i know at all this year and i really can't tell you any more about it other than lack of maintenance also is an issue with it and it's one of the areas i've inherited along with my other duties and um, when we do get a new one if we get a new one that will not be an issue so i can guarantee you that we will also be taking uh number of inmates back and forth we're looking to increase that so we're looking at a 12 passenger minivan bus but that all depends on the state if we can get more inmates we can use more inmates if not a minimum number of eight is what, we're what do you mean by the state they don't they only have to be a day they've only got so many they can send out to work crews okay yeah. with the private sector coming on hiring the crews they've got going out making minimum wages but, you know, is this uh, exclusively for the prisoners? Uh, the van, yes, per, yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, one of the things is if you go with a Ford Transit type van, uh, you will not have to have a CDL to drive it currently. You have to be a CDL mm -hmm. holder to actually drive the bus. So this will open it up to having all of our employees basically be able to drive the bus back and forth rather than having I chose the Ford Transit van uh, after speaking with Joe Shriver over at the college because they use them to travel back and forth with all the sports and stuff they got on. He said they're comfortable, they're a sturdy ride, uh, they got a wide wheelbase, get good gas mileage, and uh, they haven't found anything wrong with them. And that's it, is that that's a twelve passenger van or yes. Okay. And what we're looking at is twelve. The college has fifteen. Okay. We don't need a 15 pack. What is your average daily usage? I mean, what do you bring down every day? Eight. Eight right now. Eight. Yes. And that's a one day. You go up in the morning, get them, bring them home, yes. take them back at the evening. Yes. One trip. Okay. Yes. And the other one I put on the mileage is the old one, 
28,000. I missed that. And what kind of savings are we getting for that 28,000? Well, it's brand new, it's about 41,000. Okay. you'll see for Brand new playing games, about 41,000. Yeah. The one that's in this brochure is loaded. Yeah. <laughs> so they're going to be riding in stock. For a little while, yes. Yeah. So, so we don't have anything to haul them right now. So these other pickups, okay. these other bidders are not local, right? Those are that is not actually a bid. That's just a, a Carfax summary on the uh, mm, yeah. van that we brought up. This so you've got no so other bids as far as that goes. We're yeah. just reaching just quickly. But Reedy has Carfax this one. Report. Reedy has this one in stock. Ready. They have access to it on their full program. Okay. Now, how many pickups is it taking to go up there and get? Is it two, three two, a day? Two pickups a day. So three, you're three, double two. everything. Right. Yes. So is it something we need to do tonight? If you, if you are comfortable with doing it tonight and at least approving it maybe for a little bit more than what it says, because there is some fluctuation on that. So, you know, what do, what's the number that's the, that you have on 26,499. 26, 26, yeah. 26, 4, so what do you need then? maybe 28,000. Okay. What, Tony, what do you estimate eight prison employees save you talk to us? Uh, a lot. Yeah, a lot. A lot of full-time benefits, a lot of hourly wages. Well, I mean, they read all this, the Nick's office, and they say the thousands of dollars on that yes. deal. Yes. You use them all the time. So, so, yeah, I knew you did. 60, I just didn't. Grand a year, you pay them so they pay for this bus money. the first three months they're working. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. So... I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I, don't I am going to move that we authorize you, the city manager, to go ahead and purchase the um, 2018 Ford Trans D350 from Reedy Ford for an amount not to exceed $28,000. Second. Second. Okay, I need a second. Uh, any more discussion on it? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Okay, back to city manager updates. Um, city's Christmas party uh, is going to be uh, December 13th at 530 to 8 at the Business Building. You're all invited to be there. Prime rib. At what time? Cook earlier on. What time? That'd be great. 530. 530. Week Friday. Week from Friday. It's Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Um, I'll sure be here for prime rib. We will probably we need to talk about the land water conservation fund at some study session down the road, um, and we need to do a splash pad. Uh, also, let's see here. There's legislative committee meeting Tuesday, December 10th. At the Chamber of Commerce office. Uh, let's see. Bias County Health Coalition meeting 10 a.m. December 10th. At the water treatment facility. Christmas in the city, Santa Saturday is this Saturday. And Visit Our City and Our City Chamber of Commerce will have a parade and several other, other promotions downtown. So if you can, make sure that you are downtown and try to shop local as much as you possibly can. And, and if you can't, at least pay sales tax online so the city still gets the sales tax. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't change the time. <laughs> you know, on the, that workstation on next Friday, right? Yes. I won't be here because I'll be cooking down at the Agribusiness building. So. You can come we have up. Have we get at lunch. You oh. can come up with something. We'll figure some topic to talk about. I don't know what yet. Maybe we'll, we'll all come to you. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> we may have I'll a draft ready to go for, for them. We'll just have to see. We may have a draft to discuss on the hospital. Okay. Well, there's two or th I was going to say, there's two or three things I'd love to discuss next week because one of the things is our lawyer agreement, how it's well, they're going advancing. Out, I, I gave to the judge was gone last week. He has a, the, the form in his hand to review. He's going to give them to me tomorrow. And then once I have them, we already have an email list prepared. So we'll email it out. Um, and are we going with two lawyers or two. one? We're going to. We're two, two different. It, it, so they can, it, it can but ultimately the be the same person for both. But the way that it's set up right now, it's two separate Job. Uh, proposals. Yeah. But the same person jobs. could be both. Well, I think we could visit that in, in the work session too. Yeah, I'd like that in the work yeah. session. I'd like the I'd like a little more information on the splash pad. 
in the work session. Yeah, we're not probably not going to do that probably right away right. on the splash pad. But uh, I can, the proposals for the attorney and prosecutor are going to go out tomorrow. And then they have, uh, then they'll be due back in January. So oh, is there 30 days on it, you said? Yeah, 30 days. Okay. Yeah, they'll be back January. And will January. they be applying for both or one? Will they be indicating? It'll be up to them. They, they will indicate they which, which one they want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's something we can discuss in the work session. When it comes, to, it's just going to be a, a matter of trying to find a fit. Honestly, it, it may be the same person, <coughs> it may not be the same person. But this way, if there's some attorneys that just want to do this portion, they can. And if they just want to do this, you know, prosecuting, they can. Or state attorney, they can. But it's already going out before we have a work session. Tomorrow, if it goes out, you know, the judge will. That's a problem. I see. Well, but I don't know. We can still do okay. what we need to do as commissioners and still talk about it. Right. You'll have yeah. to approve the agreement. All yeah. Time. We'll have. We can change or modify. Yeah, we still discuss it. I mean, yeah. No, I know. Yeah. But you, you're getting an applicant that says, "Well, I want to be prosecutor, but I don't want any of the rest of this," and then we change our mind and say, "Well, we want to go with one." Is that fair He's to the applicants? He's saying he wants yeah. to wait. I'd, to I'd send like to make sure the applicants are all session. on equal grounds. Of what they, I don't know how to address it. The way it's set up, it's so, it's two pages. It's so two pages for prosecutor, two pages for attorney. We we can discuss it next Friday. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? That it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I want to thank the uh, scouts for coming and thank you, and I uh, make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Do you know I remember uh